Hi class, in this video you will learn how to do a landscape drawing in Fauvism style. Firstly, you need to find a desired landscape or cityscape photo on the internet. You can crop it and skip some unnecessary elements in your drawing as you wish. Outline the drawing with a pencil first, so you can simplify and adjust different components in the drawing. Before starting to apply colors, you need to have a black and white copy of the reference picture ready. Uh, it is because you will not follow the original color scheme. We are not going to do a realistic drawing. We will use vibrant, vivid colors to represent different parts of the picture because our goal is to make a colorful and expressive focus drawing. We should avoid being affected by a picture showing the original colors. That's why we need a black and white copy. Though we are not using the realistic color, um, it doesn't mean that we will just apply colors randomly to different parts of the picture. We still need to stick to the color values suggested in the black and white copy so that the final result of the drawing will still showcase three-dimensional effect, such as the sense of depth and volume of different things in the picture, so the drawing will still look realistic in a sense. You also need to prepare a color value chart, like the one showing in the video. With this chart, you can see the correlation between the different colors in terms of value. For example, dark purple, dark green, and dark blue are the darkest color. Light blue, yellow, and orange are some really light colors that you can use to represent lighter tones in the picture. Before applying colors, I would suggest you to have a rough tissue paper ready on the table. You will know why we need to use this later in the video. Next, you also need to have some soft tissue paper ready which is super handy for blending colors. In this project, we will be using soft pastel chalks. When you have everything you need ready, then you can start doing the drawing. Let's start now! Most of the time, we should use the side of the chalk stick to apply colors. Apply long and loose strokes tentatively. And check the color used with the reference photo and the color value chart to see if the chosen color can represent the color value of that area. You can see that I am trying not to follow the typical color scheme. I use unrealistic colors to draw the mountain, like bright pink, purple, orange, and beige. But I'm not applying the colors randomly. I need to make sure that the color chosen can match the values shown on different parts of the mountain in order to showcase light medium and dark tones of the object to capture the three-dimensional feature. When you finish applying the general tones of one part in the drawing, you can use a white pastel chalk to blend different colors. You can see that I didn't apply the colors too densely before. There is always some space between strokes, so that there will be room to use white to create a soft tone in between colors. Next, you can use a soft tissue paper to blend and smoothen the colors. It will make the colors slightly lighter before because the tissue paper will rub off some color powder. Remember, use different parts of the tissue paper to blend different tones. Keep changing the spot of the tissue paper when shift to other area. This is very important because if you use the same spot to blend different tones, all different fibrin colors will turn into one muddy brown tone. And you don't want that to happen.
After you are done blending and smoothen out the first layer of colors, you can retouch it with the same colors again. This time you don't use the side of the chalk, you use the tip of it to make some thinner and clearer marks to define the shapes and important features of the objects. When you find that the color powder on the drawing is too much, you need to dust it off on the rough tissue paper you prepared before. This will help avoid the excessive powder messing up the drawing or the table. You will need to repeat the steps mentioned before a few times, including blending the colors with tissue paper, adjusting the tones, and blending again and again, before getting the result you want. It will take a bit too much time for me to finish the drawing in this video, so I prepare one more drawing of the same landscape to show you my desired color scheme for this drawing. This is not done yet. I just roughly lay out the colors I like for this picture. I will need to add more layers of colors and refine some details with color pencils. I will show you how to do that next time. I hope you enjoyed this video so far. Now is your turn to make a forest landscape or cityscape drawing. Have fun!